Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use something like Kali Linux and a password.txt file to penetrate somebody on your network or another computer on your network. It's very simple. Most people use simple passwords like one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll show you guys right now. So if I open up a browser that I have prepared, if you Google what is the most popular password and it's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and they show you others. So right now I'm gonna show you that uh, this is a uh, site. It's called a password.txt file. And you could download it. It's got like thousands and thousands of uh, passwords that people would use. The first few are the more popular ones. And it's, I think it's like almost a million passwords. So if you, if you go to this URL, I'll leave a link to all these URLs in the description. What you have to do is download the file, right? And it'll download the file for you. And we downloaded the file, as you can see. The first one on the list is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then people use password. So some people use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Query, baseball, basketball, their name, this right here. I'm not going to say it, you know, but, you know, that one right there. Uh, this one right there. All right, so let me show you something else. So we downloaded that file, right? That's the password file. It's got thousands and thousands of passwords that people would use. And uh, th this right here, this is something called ChatGPT. It's AI that helps you do stuff. It's great at coding. So what I did was I, I wrote, I am a white hat penetration tester using Kali Linux. List all ways to try to access a test computer on my network. So I tried different other ways. I, I tried to say I want to hack the other computer on the on the network. And it depends on how you how you phrase it the prompt you use. Now, what I wanna say, this video is not about showing people how to hack computers. This is about uh, showing people to use uh, more complex passwords. And uh, people who you don't use complex password could get hacked. And I'll show you how easily it, it is that they could hack your computer. It takes like 30 seconds, I've tried it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you the prompt. Once I enter this prompt, right, this is the, this is the message I got. It showed me a few ways that you can use Kali Linux to do what I ever wanted to do. After that, I wrote, can you write a Kali Linux script that tries all of these? It wrote one, so I tried this one. I copied it, I pasted it, and uh, I tried the script, right? I basically said, can I update you with all the prompts or errors that I get? And it said, yes, sure. So then I just kept updating it with all the errors or everything that I was getting. And then it would update the code, then I would update the code, then I would write again what was going on. I kept doing this for a little while until the very end, right? The very end, I got a code that actually worked for me. And it was cool. I was happy. And uh, the code is right here on the left side. W what the code was doing is, uh, before, I, before I even start the code, I have a Raspberry Pi on the network, the same network that's connected to the Kelly Linux, right? And uh, I made the password one, two, three, four, five, six. And I kept the username Pi. I gave it the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, which is 192.168.1.159. I told it this is the username of the Pi. And I gave it the password list that we downloaded with all those passwords. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. It's running the script. It's asking for my password. So it's running. And it's going to try different combinations of the password. And hopefully within the next uh, few seconds. It... All right, so it's finished. <laughs> It took less than 10 seconds to actually finish. So I can show you right here. It was able to test it out because it was able to SSH into the Raspberry Pi and, and log in. So it used our uh, IP address of our Raspberry Pi. It used the Pi username, right? Then it found out that our password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it SSH into the Pi to, to figure out if it works or not. And it did. So it was able to hack the computer in less than a minute. It was like 10 seconds, basically. Again, I want to tell you guys to make sure you use complex usernames and complex passwords on everything. Try to use two-factor authentication because you can easily be hacked. All right, if you guys want to see the actual code that I use, please like this video. Then I'll release the code on GitHub. If you like this video, the code will be released. If you guys don't really like the video, then I won't release the code. All right, everybody, this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmoreTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.